Welcome back to pain and everlasting purgatory that we also call beat making and music production. I'm your host, Zach Childs, the one with the most. And we're about to get ghost on this beautiful fucking Halloween. I haven't made a video in a minute. So let's see if we can get right up in it. Okay. What do we have here? This should be a simple beat. Now, it is Monday, six in the fucking morning. I just spent eight hours on one song last night. So let's see. Let's, let's enjoy today. Let's not run this shit into the ground. I should have chopped the sample more to make it easier. But you know, it's a little too early for that shit. We're just going to go right in. And we're going to go ham. I haven't made a beat in a minute, so let's see what we got here. <laughs> some lo-fi drums over this sample.
That's all we need. I'm not gonna go any further. I'm not gonna add any crazy shit. Dog's going crazy in the corner. But what else is new? I'm gonna apply that to the pads. This is a real straightforward beat. We're the best kind, right? On this one, I'm gonna do the drums first, just so the shit matches, because it's annoying when the shit don't match. I already got an idea of what I'm gonna do. I got new drum kits as usual, let's see. Like that kick. So you really gotta do, ready? This is how easy this shit is. Just lay a normal four fucking bar kit. And you go to the snare, you lay a four snare. For right now, it could be anything, just to get the tempo. See, it's a little fast. It's at 102.25, so go to 101. structure for your drums. Add more sound. See now where you top the sample in the beginning. It could be on, it could be off. This one's kind of on, it's pretty on my time. Sounds all right. You can always adjust the shit later.
to go for lo-fi drums. If the sample's quiet, if the sample's quiet, I might wanna tone that fucking snare drum. But then I'll just keep going. Figure that shit out at the end. I can tell this one's off already. That's all the samples. Let me see. Yeah, pretty fucking. Yeah, fuck this sample. I don't need that shit. So let's hear it all together. I figure let's check this drum pack before we leave it. 
I found one that works. Now for your viewing pleasure, I'll get rid of it. I know I fucked up the quality. Alright, time to add the drum. We're gonna go in the handy dandy Apollo Brown kit, which is probably my favorite kit. Apollo Brown's got that shit, son. I already fuck with the first one I picked. All his drums sound so fucking good. And his kicks. Listen to this.
3D. It gives it a shaker quality, but then I put a slow shaker over that. So you don't know which one to listen to. It sounds like the, the track is thicker. People always say layered kicks and layered snares, which is fucking obvious. Why not, you know? Why wouldn't you layer a snare? You don't want a snare to sound one fucking way. Something missing, though.
See how it gets quiet. Slowly gets higher. Once I put it in a different program, it'll compress it all the same. So you don't have to worry about that shit right now. Jackson told me this, and I didn't understand it until I listen to every type of hip hop, depending on my mood. I don't fucking discriminate in hip hop, which is what he told me is a good thing because when I'm making a beat, I don't even give a fuck if it's hip hop. It could be techno, some crazy shit. I do it because I enjoy it. For one, for two. I can see a bunch of different styles flipped, flopped all across shit. So, I mean, that's the beauty of when I show people beats now. A lot of people, I already know what they're going to like. But a lot of people are like, I want to take this, I want to take that. But I have enough crazy shit for everybody. Like, I can make fucking whatever. Like, a lot of people wouldn't rap over this beat. I would all the beats I make, I would rap over. But I know a couple people that would rap over this. And those are the people I'll show. And a lot of people will listen and be like, I don't want to fucking touch this. That's cool, too. That's why there's fucking 400 beats. So, with that being said... This is half the time, as usual. It was a quick beat. I haven't been making beats as much. I'm working on, I mastered Mooney's songs. Mooney's got two songs. I'm gonna jump on those songs. I'm gonna give him a copy with just him, and I'm gonna also put myself on them. I just recorded with Reese Quotable. Shout out to him. We've been working together for what? 
11 years, 10, 10 or 11 years. I love his music. Um, we had Danny Kaye. We both featured on his album. We've got a couple other songs with Alvarez coming out. Uh, I got a couple beats from Cello. I got a beat pack from Dan Biddle yesterday. So we'll see what we can do with those beats. I guess, honestly, I can do a beat listening session on YouTube and play beats and see what people like. I'll let people pick the beats. That would be kind of dope, actually. So yeah, I got cello beats. We got some D-Rock beats. We're trying to get Moses. Moses, if you hear this, reach out and touch things. Trying to get Laz back. Trying to think of other shit. Shout out to Husky. Shout out to Woody. Shout out to the archaeologist. Shout out to Sam Adam's son. Shout out to June Classic. Shout out to Monster X. The Monster Island Czars. I know that they... Some crazy shit happened between that. Who else, man? Shout out to Gilly. Shout out to Harvey. Shout out to DJ E's. Shout out to Arlie. Shout out to G Ford. I mean, there's a million fucking people. We could do this all night. Shut down. Shut up to James. Duck down. Shout out to DJ Nugs. Go pick up his vinyl. I think it's sold out. But you can still listen to it. Shout out to Chan A V. Love working with her. I'd like to do that shit again. Super talented from Miami. I know she's got connections down there. I like her style because she blends real nice melodic jazz with heavy shit too. So it's like, it's perfect fucking blend. Oh uh, shit, who else? No F and Irony from UK. I'm not gonna put your, I won't, I won't say your name. I don't know if you want me to say your name on this shit. Oh man, Killer Miller, the fucking Blue Assassins. Shout out to Abu. I mean, shit, shout out to Divine. We can go through a fucking list. We can go through a fucking complete list of people. Shout out to Dale Gypsy. I know that's not your last name. But you get a shout out too. Because you're always rocking with me. Who else, man? Who else? Shit. Who else do I fucking make? It was an archaeologist's birthday two days ago. I already shouted him out, but happy birthday. Shout out to Azariah, of course. I can't forget him, right? Who else? Black Sinatra. Shout out to Hassan. How the fuck could you forget Hassan? The fucking ambassador of the rock. She. Shout out to Volatile. Shout out to Golden. Who else do we have here? Shout out to Bushido Garvey. Ah, I'm trying not to forget anybody. They're just mad fucking people. I'm trying to walk through the bar in my mind and see everybody. Shout out to Contact. Shout out to Puppet. Shout out to Tim Dolan for rocking with me for all these years. Shout out to Paul Chili Chill. Who else do we got? If we go into producers and beat makers, this shit gets fucking nuts. So anyway, if I missed you, I'll shut you out in the next video. Many more to come. Y'all be safe out there. And happy Halloween. Peace.